Uh, right, next then, group small content, otherwise this known as good. small group content, because I should say the words the right way around. So, they've talked about how in long form content, they want to continue to look for new ways to keep the experience fresh. And one of the major parts of this um, that's already been highlighted is the Infinite uh, Dragonflight Gauntlet. It's a non-combat moment, but a fun twist on the normal gameplay. I think that the gauntlet looks really cool. I did see the Wowhead tweet, and I love looking at the comments to Wowhead tweets. A lot of them don't Sorry like... To hear that. A lo yeah, a lot of them basically just want rewards and don't actually want any game to be in the game. That is the vast majority of the player base of World of Warcraft. That is depressing and true. Uh, anyway, I think the gauntlet looks really cool. Yeah, uh, it no, seems like yeah. you got to learn, you know, learn the timings of the things and, you know, you'll feel like quite a master if you do it, right? Or like learn the I behavior more than the time. Learn the behavior, yes. yes. I think it's, it's not easy, but it's simple. Yeah. It's just a matter of you're going so fast, you kind of get greedy. <laughs> and they're putting more like moments of variety to just sort of shake the experience up for people. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then when designing individual uh, mechanics like the find the fake chromie during Morty's encounter, they're trying to come up with new ways for players to react to situations differently than <gasps> familiar ones like, how dare I say it, dodge the swirly. They're, they're, Do you know my favorite part of Sarkarath is? It's the swirlies when, landing yeah. on uh, the glittering, glitter surge. Yeah. Glitter surge comes in, you drop your barrier, and your barrier is full of swirlies, and then like half the people die. Yeah, because Great. because there's, in our case, there's like 12 people inside an AMZ, which is in the middle of a barrier, and then there's swirlies covering the entire of the inside of the AMZ, and because there's so many bodies, you can't see the swirlies whatsoever, and then you die, and you just wipe, and you're like, cool. And then everyone's like, well, we should have dodged the swirlies, but if we dodged, we couldn't see the swirlies and also they would have been, in, we wouldn't be inside the barrier, so the damage might have killed us anyway. Ah, basically swirlies suck. But I think, um, to talk about this a little bit and how the, like, the mechanics felt, they're, how do I describe this? So, there are two ways that me and the people I play World of Warcraft with largely discuss any raid mechanics. And they're either straight stolen from ff or they're not those are it that's the binary right well, a very simple world yeah to have. <laughs> yeah everything's just prepackaged and easy <laughs> yeah <laughs> and there is stuff in here that is straight out of ff in a beautiful way we're like that's an ff mechanic beautiful golden fantastic good. and then there's also stuff that's that would never fly in an ff game in a good way let's go that's right okay in the sense that this is unique and not something that's in their fairly limited design toolkit and you can tell it's like the encounter designer going, "What are we doing? Ah, here's some. We'll put a we'll put a load of hats on Morchi, and the one you're supposed to hit's the one without a hat." And like, so I have to literally look at the character models and see if one of them doesn't have a hat. That's cool. That's actually really cool. It's not incredibly complicated or anything, but it is like, oh, well, it's because you've got a. Um, like a limited period of time to pick the right one kind of i mean it is obviously you go well is that not like your woman um i can't remember her name in scrollamance or like the what's his name i'm not good with names sometimes it seems uh what's your man in nothariens lair the rock boy who goes in the rock and then uh find the boy under the cup or whatever you know the, the you know find the ball under the cup mechanic that thing yeah near the disc boys yeah, yeah. So, so there's like there's a couple of those but it's like that again but they take it a little further there's a couple of mechanics that are very much oh yeah that is actually really cool and interesting especially the Redicrawl fight the Redicrawl fight is very good not it's not like oh this is big brain design it's just this is really like simple and to the point and the core conceit of it is more interesting than something they've done in a while or you have someone else you're playing with that's very good very good so i ultimately i think it's it's a very good dungeon and i can see where they're like hey we're trying to have interesting like discussions over what mechanics we can do now and i think it's them pushing the board out i imagine it like the next raid won't be as interesting as this but i still see them going okay well this is our chance to have fun this is our chance to play with what we're doing they don't do it in every fight there are a couple fights that are like oh this is a world of warcraft dungeon fight yeah no problem no problem no worries but it is like they're clearly they're clearly trying they're clearly pushing the board out where they can which i think is fantastic and very fun man good shit yeah it's a good dungeon i don't look forward to that and they, mm -hmm. they did talk a little bit just about mega dungeons mini raids how they sort of think about that um where yeah this is this is this will be a this will be a rough one to bug 
Uh-huh. This will be a rough one See, to plug. That's like. in so many ways a good sign. It's a good sign. <laughs> it's a good sign yeah. of the quality of the content. Yeah. But of course, uh, you always rub up against that thing of like pugging has led so many people play the game. It's the awful problem they have where they continually have to go do we baby our players or do we present them a challenge? Mm. You know, is it the case of do we put an obstacle for them to jump over? What if they can't jump over it and hit their head and cry? And that's what's going to happen a lot, especially in Mythic, especially because there's rewards and stuff. People are going to want this. You're like, oh, there will be a lot of complaining of this dungeon too hard. There will be a lot of it. Interesting. There will be a shit ton of it. Not just because it's too hard number-wise, but also because there's literally like, there's literally mechanics that people will not be able to do because they require you to be engaged with what you're seeing on screen. And also, you know the kind of, you know the kind of gaming problem, the kind of gaming skill set and solution mm. puzzle solving that a lot of World of Warcraft players who aren't otherwise gamers don't inherently have. And this is the issue you have where you have someone like, uh, and I, I don't, I'm not going to say any names, but I know there's a couple of encounter designers on like Twitter and stuff who are very clearly big gamers and they very clearly have inspirations coming from different genres and stuff. And you can see when those make their way in and people are like, okay, well, they are coming from the thing of I'm making a video game. So anything within the realm of video games mechanically mm. is pretty like well found in terms of what's in our design toolkit. Oh, we want these kind of problems, these kind of like spatial reasoning, stuff like that. Been able to see where something's going and, you know, like bullet hell kind of stuff. You're like, yeah. bullet is going this speed. I need to not be there. And now you don't literally calculate like, Sorry, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't go, well, I need to move this direct way for 3.2 seconds to get out but you do kind of have that in like that subconsciously calculates and you go okay well I need to move to get out of that or I need to be here at that point because there's a lot there's a lot more of that this time that's a little bit more thinking ahead as opposed to dodge sweaty dodge sweaty dodge sweaty yeah. or be here at a scripted point a lot more of it is oh you have to you have to spatially reason I think people will die a shit ton Manifested time wise is going to kick so much for ass. something with five players because sometimes that stuff can like break down and be chaos yeah. in a larger player camp. Or for some more like it's intimate perfect. like five, I think it's perfect. It's, it is it is perfect, and I like I was literally laughing when I was doing it because I was having that much fun. Because I'm not used to having that much fun in World of Warcraft. I'm used to having fun, just not the just not the visceral video game playing kind. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I got you. 